Okay, just going to do a few more of the word problems. This one, we're on page 279. Some ones we didn't do in class, we'll do number one here. Darren is 16 years older than Corey, so one piece of information that we know. And another piece of information we know is that the sum of their ages is 46. And we want to know how old each person is. So that first piece of information, Darren is 16 years older than Corey. And the second piece of information, the sum of their ages is 46. We can write out in a couple of ways. We can say Darren's age plus Corey's age. Oh, that's not the right one. We can say over here, Darren's age plus Corey's age equals 46. And we can say that Darren is 16 years older than Corey. So we can say that Darren's age is the same as Corey's age plus another 16, or that Corey's age is the same as Darren's minus 16. These two are uh, interchangeable. They both mean the same thing. With these two bits of information, we're going to want to choose one and substitute one value for Darren or Corey's age into the other equation. So I'll pick this one. I'll say that's our equation we're going to work with here. Their two ages together is 46. And I'm going to pick one person, doesn't matter who, but pick one of them to keep that variable. So I'll keep Darren. Uh, Darren just shows up first, so there we go. And I don't want a C in here anymore. I want something in terms of D. Let's move that over. So I know that Corey's age is the same as Darren's minus 16. So instead of writing Corey, I can write in Darren minus 16. Now I've only got that same variable, right? I've only got, uh, oops, Darren and Darren. Only one variable that means I can solve this. So I'm going to collect like terms. I'm going to throw the Darren variables over here. And I'm going to put the uh, numbers, the constants, over here. So on the left, I've got two of those Ds, one there and one there. And on the right, I've got 46. I'm going to move the 16 over. It was negative. It'll become positive. 46 plus 16 is 62. Now I have 2d equals 62. I know what to do here. My variable is not alone, but only one thing is happening to it. It's only being multiplied by 2. So if I divide it by 2, I have to, of course, do that to both sides to keep it equal, to keep it fair. Then I can find that d is equal to 62 over 2, which is 31. This tells me that Darren is 31 years old. And Corey is Darren's age minus 16, because Darren is 16 years older. So Darren's age is 31. If we take away 16, we're going to get 50. So Corey is 15 years old. Together, 31 plus 15 has to be 46. And 31 plus 15 is indeed 46. So this checks out. So Darren is 31. Corey is 15. Let's do another. <coughs> Let's do... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sandy is twice as old as Jim. Alice is four years... Okay, we got Sandy. Alice and Jim. Okay, those are our three people. One statement they tell us is Sandy is twice as old as Jim. We can write that out as Sandy's age equals double Jim's age. Or we can say that Jim's age is Sandy's age over two. He's half as old as Sandy. So either one of those can work. Next, they tell us Alice is four years younger than Sandy. So we can write this out two ways. We can say Alice's age is Sandy's age minus four. Or we could write this out as Sandy's age is equal to 
Alice's age plus four. Those both mean the same thing. The sum of all their ages is 26. So this last bit here, the sum of all their ages is 26. If we take Andy's age plus Sandy's age, Alice's age, sorry, plus Sandy's age, plus Jim's age, we should get 26. So they're all going to be pretty young if they all their ages together add up to 26. How old is Sandy? So we know Sandy is twice as old as Jim's age, or that she is four years older than Alice. And we also know that all their ages together add up to 26. This one where everybody's age is all included, I'm going to use as kind of the, the key to build this all up. So Alice, Sandy, Jim. If we add all three of them together, we should get 26. I want to do this all in terms of one variable. I'm going to pick Sandy because they ask me how old is Sandy. I could pick anybody and come back and find Sandy, but I'm going to do it this way. So Sandy is Sandy. We know that. Her age is her age. But Alice, we don't want to write A because that gives us two variables. We only want to stick with one. For Alice, I might say her age is Sandy's age minus four. That, that's Alice, that's Alice. And for Jim, Jim, I need to put in something here for Jim. I could say that Jim's age is, well, here, Sandy's age over two. Which I could write as a half times Sandy's age or I could write as 0.5 times Sandy's age, or I could write as Sandy's age divided by two. All of those will have the same meaning. I'm just gonna write S over two, because I, I don't know, I like it. So if we add all of these up, they should still equal 26. When I'm looking at these, I'm going to want to collect my like terms over on the left. So all of the Sandys I'm going to put over here, and all of the numbers I'm going to put over, I don't know, let's pick a color, here. So for Sandy, it's easy to write S and S. That's two S's. But this is a half of an S. Can I just write a half of an S? I have one, two, and a half. Why not? I can write 2.5. I can write two and a half. I can write five halves. All of those are worth two and a half. I'm going to write 2.5 because it's just what I feel like doing right now. There are 2.5 S's over here, which I was going to do in yellow here a moment ago. And for the numbers, I've got a negative four on the left and a 26 on the right. So if I move that negative four over, it's going to become positive four. So that's going to be 30. So I've got 2.5 s. 2.5 times Sandy's age is going to be equal to, I'm just going to try to make my s not look like a 5, is equal to 30. So if I have 2.5 s equals 30, and I want to find s, I can divide both sides by that coefficient of s, 2.5, and I'll find that s is equal to 30 over 2.5, which is 12. So Sandy should be 12 years old. If Sandy is twice as old as Jim, so if Sandy is 12, Jim is half the age of Sandy. Jim should be six years old, which we, we get from here, right? Jim is Sandy's age divided by two. Alice is four years younger than Sandy. So Alice should be Sandy's age minus four. So 12 minus four is gonna be eight. And if we add up 12 plus 8, this is our check, plus 6, we should get 26. And 12 plus 8 is 20, plus 6 is indeed 26. So the check works out. The key to all of these has been writing out all of our different bits of information in terms of just one variable. We'll do more of them in class, of course, but maybe this helps to have it something you can pause and rewind and work through.